In this video, I wanna talk about how to reduce your cost per conversion and cost per click on your YouTube ads. A lot of people ask me, they say, maybe your cost per conversion is high or the cost per click is high. And oftentimes it comes down to one of two factors or both. It's either your YouTube video and you need to make sure that you have the right video that's actually going to have the right components, hook, educate, call to action. We talked about that before. We'll be diving into a little bit of that. But also your targeting, making sure that you're reaching the right people that are actually interested in taking action. So that's what we're gonna talk about in this video, how to reduce your cost per conversion and cost per click so you can have more high quality people coming into your business through YouTube ads. We're gonna use a SaaS uh, product as an example, but obviously supplies to any business that you have. We're gonna be diving into this. Uh, this is gonna be a clip from an AMA that I did recently where I answered this very question. Let's hop in. How do you reduce the CPC with YouTube ads, getting video views, but CPC is high. So that's where you want to make sure that your video is optimized to get people to actually, you know, uh, click and convert. And so that's that hook, educate, call to action. So it's not enough just to pull the right person in. You also want to push a wrong person away. So you're actually capturing people that are interested and you need to provide enough value and frame that next step, whether it's a webinar, a training, a PDF, you know, go, going to whatever that next step is, you want to frame enough value there to actually get them to click. Specifically for SaaS, you want to pull people in. So you want to talk about the problem that you're solving, right? And so we have people that have, uh, we've had people in the past that have like Amazon SaaS. We've had people who have, um, you know, different software for stock trading, uh, different, you know, uh, membership sites. Um, we've had a variety of different people kind of in the SaaS space. We've also had things that plug into, you know, Active Campaign, Infusionsoft, et cetera. Um, and so for this, what I would recommend is starting off with that hook, with that problem where you really identify, okay, here is, you know, the problem that somebody is uh, encountering and how can you get them, you know, to actually want to watch the video. Because you have 30 seconds before you actually pay for it. So you want to pull in the right person, push away the wrong person. And then what you're going to do is you're then going to say, okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how this works. Now let's hop over. And that's where you actually get into the demo and you start showing your screen. So you start off with a hook, right? Pull the right person in, you identify the problem. And then from there you say, okay, now I'm going to show you exactly how this works. We're going to show you how this software works. Let's hop over to my computer screen. Then you can switch over to your computer screen and actually start going through that demo. Um, of your SaaS product. And then from there, you know, once you go through your demo, you're talking about some of the biggest, you know, most valuable components, you can cut back to uh, yourself and actually, you know, end the video by saying, so now what I'd like you to invite you to do is sign up for a free trial of our software. Click the link right here on the bottom left of the screen to go ahead and sign up and I'll see you over there. And then obviously from there, you get people to sign up for a free trial. What that's showing is there could possibly be a little bit of an issue with targeting, but usually if you're looking at cost per click, it's gonna be more so the compelling nature of your video. Um, targeting also falls into it as well, uh, but assuming that you have the targeting you know, lined up and you know that these are the right people and you can kind of look at that at 3D targeting that we talk about, um, you know, then you wanna make sure that your video is actually enticing enough to get people to click. So remember, you could do all the most advanced targeting that you want, but if your video isn't compelling, then you know, people aren't going to opt in and you know, or they're gonna be opting in at a much lower rate. All right, I hope you found that video valuable. If you want more content on how you can use YouTube ads to grow your own business, check out the links below for our webinar, our free Facebook group where we're posting trainings, interacting with the community. Obviously we have our YouTube channel here where we're posting new content every Tuesday and Thursday on YouTube ads and growing your business using these forms of video marketing. And if you guys are interested in a strategy call to set this up for your own business, go to adoutreach.com apply. I'm looking forward to helping you with YouTube ads for your business.